23 March 2016, patient transfer, Astrum, comma, Blake. Diagnosis, moderate to severe schizophrenia, history of self-harm, currently prescribed 200 milligrams chlorpromazine taken by mouth once daily. Come on in, Blake. You're welcome to have a seat, you know. How are you doing, Blake? You don't mind if I record this, do you? And how's school going? I dropped out last semester. Well, why is that? I got more important things to take care of. So why are we changing doctors, Blake? Was Dr. King not a sufficient care provider? I got a call saying Dr. King was closing her practice due to unforeseen circumstances and that all patients would have our records transferred to someone covered by our insurance policies. And how are you reacting to the medication she prescribed? I don't take that shit. You have to take the medication, Blake. It's the only way to- To do what? To tame my schizophrenia? To make me better? I don't buy this shrink bullshit for one second. It's the only way to help you live a normal life. Mother wants you on medication for a reason. Now I know it's scary living with hallucinations, but we can fix it. We're just trying to help you. And your current prescription is 200 milligrams chlorpromazine daily. We're going to have to probably start with a higher dosage and work our way down as the hallucinations fail. I see that it was your mother's idea that you seek out treatment. How would you say your relationship with her is? I love my mom. She just saw that I was getting real beat up and she thinks that I'm doing it to myself. She wanted me to see a shrink and I wanted her to stop worrying. But you're not doing it to yourself? Of course not. Well, when I got the file from your previous doctor, she had noted reports of self-harm due to repetitive hallucinations of the same woman. It's not self-harm. She's not a hallucination. Of course she is. It's common in patients like yourself to see manifestations of your subconscious and mistake them for true forms, but she isn't real. And it's important for you to remember that no matter how real she seems, she isn't. And how do you know that? I'm the one living it. I'm the one that has to take her torture. And what your science tells you won't change that. Then you tell me about it. Tell me about this woman you keep seeing. Well, she's like a ghost or something. She's always wearing white and has dark hair. She stays hunched and she just looks at me and then she smiles a lot like she's happy to see me. <laughs> and what is a typical interaction with her? Well, she usually turns up at night before I go to bed. And she just stands there. At least at first she did. You don't think there's any chance that you might be self-harming unknowingly? Not a chance. I'm being attacked. 
but the pills will help. If you would just take the medicine, then you would stabilize. And this apparition would disappear and these attacks would stop. I don't understand why you won't just take the medicine. This, this right here, side effects may include muscle spasms, fainting, seizure, paranoia. Oh, and my favorite warning, use may be fatal. And that's a standard psychopharmacology disclaimer. This whatever she is, she's after me, Doc. She will do whatever it takes to keep me miserable. But you think that I should risk poisoning myself instead. So yeah, I'm not going to force this shit down my throat when it's not going to help me. So you won't take the medication even though you're clearly self-harming. That's- Do not say crazy. I'm not crazy. You think I did this to myself? I understand the stress on you must be incredible, but I can assure you this woman is not trying to hurt you. She's not out to get you. She's not real. And the harm that you're inflicting on yourself is hurting your loved ones as much as it hurts you. I'm not doing this to myself. You have schizophrenia. You're hallucinating. She's not gonna go away until you fix the chemistry in your brain. Take your medicine. If not be yourself, do it for your mother. You leave her out of this. I can't help you if you won't help yourself. Well, maybe I don't want your help. Then why are you still here? I'm here because I don't want my mom to worry about me anymore. But she doesn't understand. You have to listen to me. I am in danger. No matter where I go, she finds a way to hurt me and the people close to me. I don't know what she's going to do next. I go to sleep and I don't even know if I'm gonna make it through the night. Every day, people tell me that I'm crazy and more and more, I'm starting to believe them. Please, Doc. Fine. She's not. due to some unforeseen circumstances. I apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. Your patient records will be transferred to a doctor's office that accepts your current insurance policy. Thank you for your time. 